On the table today, we are going to be looking at something interesting, toy block tape. I have a couple different kinds to look at. We have Meka toy block tape from Zuru, and then we have Build Bonanza, an as seen on TV product, which I would imagine you've seen this on TV. And if we have time, we could take a look at my own custom squirrel tail block tape. <laughs> So, lots of interesting adhesive block-based tape. See guys? This is perfect! Finally a product we can use to capture the Headless Horseman! <laughs> You'll never catch me! <laughs> Come on gang! He's getting away! No way! <laughs> Zoinks, man, Scoobs! I'm with you! Wait for me! You're not getting away from me, Headless Horseman! Alright, alright. It seems like we've deviated once again. So let's work on some of this Meka tape first. Am I pronouncing it right? Meka? Mika? Mika? From Zuru. Toy block tape. This is blue, and this is the thin, two-stud thickness kind. I also picked up a light blue and a green and a red and a thicker one that's a four stud thickness. I don't plan to open it all today, I just wanted to show some of the many colors Meka comes with. And I want to say this roll was around $6.99 over at Walmart, $6.99, $7.99. And the larger, thicker roll runs about $11.99, $12.99, you know, obviously twice as big. On the back of the Meka toy block tape we have cut, shape, stick, build. Remove and reuse. Reuse, I like that. Since these are, you know, $6.99, that's almost the cost of a small set. It's nice to know that you can reuse this, uh, hopefully many times, make up the cost a little bit. Uh, let's open this up. How are we gonna open this? I see a little peel thing. I assume that's how we get out of here somehow. We're outside of the package, and that is without a doubt the worst package I have ever opened. Absolutely ridiculous. You have to remove these little tabs on the four sides. You've got to peel, but of course the adhesive doesn't want to peel off, and you just have to cut and gnaw and partially throw fits. Definitely not an enjoyable experience. You may want to ask your Uncle Wolverine to help you open it. But I'm not going to do it for free, bub. Don't know what that means. But anyway, we're outside of the package. Nothing else matters now that we've got the tape out. Looks like we have a small little piece of instructions. Pretty much what we saw on the back of the box. Use scissors, remove the adhesive, clean surface. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Let's look at the actual brick tape here. Okay, so it's very flexible. It has a good, soft, squishy feel to it. I'm seeing block brick stud sizes consistent with Lego, but with no little Lego imprint on them, of course, since this is not from Lego. And this is a six and a half foot pack, or two meters worth of uh, tape. So that's probably enough to keep you busy. Let's, um, I hate to cut this, I'm already loving it. Uh, let's cut off a small piece. See how well it cuts, and go for it. I'm sure I'll be like, oh, I cut it one stud too short. It's ruined, now I have to do it again, and then again. Okay, cuts really softly. I like that, real easy to cut. And we've kind of got this wound up on the base here. But again, this packaging was so poor. I mean, I guess now I can finally, now that it's cut apart, I can reinsert all these tabs and kind of keep it contained for next time. This could have been designed a lot better. So they spent all their money designing the brick tape, but not the container. Okay, so let's tape it down to the table, I suppose. See how strong this adhesive is. A little bit tricky getting it off the backer, and I have a feeling, you know, obviously, this adhesive is also stuck to the brick tape, so be careful not to pull both uh, the adhesive off the brick tape, but I'm pretty sure however they made it, it's going to be stuck pretty good. So there we go, that's removed. And we'll just kind of stick down here. And uh, yeah, that feels like it's snug. I'm 
kind of pushing it side to side. Now for our first test. So who wants to go first? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Brains! That was quite the ugly cheer, zombie cheerleader. Out on the toy brick block tape. And I think she's holding on pretty good. A little bit soft to the touch on those minifigure legs. Bringing out some bricks. They're fitting fairly snug. I think the larger the brick piece you're gonna place on, the more area is gonna stick to this stuff, which is gonna help. And there we go. Of course, it'd make more sense to, say, stick this to a wall. Hmm. Yay! Should have done the review upside down today. You can tell it's sticky on both my fingers and the blocks are holding. So I'm pretty sure if you were to put this upside down on your ceiling, you had enough points of brick on the studs here, you'd probably be able to hold it. However, I don't think you could make the heaviest creation because it does release pretty easily. So small sets and designs are gonna hold on this. I wouldn't want to chance it on something big yet. Interesting. Moving on over to our other brand of block tape, we have Build Bonanza, building block compatible peel stick and tape, tape and stick tape. Build on curved surfaces, around corners, even upside down, bendable, flexible, shapeable, removable and reusable tape sticks again and again. So very similar, pretty much the same thing. Lots of advertising going on the back of this package, of course, as it is seen on TV. Pretty much the same thing said on the front, only now we have some images to go along with them. I like the idea of down the dinosaur back. That's pretty funny. Works with Lego blocks and Omega blocks. What are, what are Mega blocks? The Build Bonanza wasn't too high in cost. It was about $11.99 for three feet of blue, red, gray, and green, which is about the same price as the Mega. I think just a little bit cheaper. If you're looking for Build Bonanza, try looking for that as seen on TV aisle. I think Target has it and so does many other retailers. Let's get this open and see how it compares. A little bit easier on the opening for the as seen for TV brick Build Bonanza, but it's still that nasty plastic that can give you lacerations so you definitely still want to ask Wolverine for help. If I scratch your back, bub, you better scratch mine. He's pretty grumpy today. Well, we have instructions over here. Pretty much giving you a bunch of different ideas. This is a little bit of fun. We've got it on curved of ball surface and uh, on the bathtub, on that dinosaur again, around the finely uh, crafted wood fireplace and uh, yeah there's some really cool ideas over here probably because this was on a commercial and just all the fine print so let's try some of this tape maybe stick with blue here there's nothing really keeping this all together it's all just kind of loose and uh, sneaking around everywhere and it feels about the same almost the same it's probably very similar plastic looks like I see one quick obvious difference is that every four studs we have a line here, a cut line to go off of. So that's kind of an interesting thing. This is just a solid uh, plastic strip and this stuff we've got a line and maybe make about the same amount here. Ooh, and I think I nailed right where I need to nail it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to tear that so I'm gonna wanna cut that right there. Oh off just by a little bit that'll just make me go crazy for a few weeks and we'll test out the adhesiveness on this looks like the uh, adhesive goes from all from top to bottom whereas this stuff there was a little bit of a gap on the sides let's see if that's the case when we remove this tape oh this is a lot cleaner the adhesive on this is so much nicer looking be interesting to see how many hundreds of times we can stick and remove. So it is definitely stuck. And it removes pretty well. Excuse me, zombie cheerleader. 
I would say, just a little bit easier than the Meka. It removes just a little bit easier. I also notice it's a little bit thinner. It's not as thick. This is about maybe an eighth of an inch thick, and this is probably pushing a little more than a sixteenth of an inch. So if you have a situation where you're using this, say in a door jam or in a tight space where some things are going to fold in, perhaps you might want this. It's not going to be sticking out as much. Looks like you're at the end of your brick tape, headless horseman. <laughs> uh oh. Can't seem to get out. Shaggy, Scoobs, you gotta help me. No way, Fred, too scary. Oops. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the headless horseman rides again. <laughs> oh shoot. So again, we've deviated a little bit from what we're talking about, this toy block tape. It's working pretty well so far on a table surface. Let's try something a little more extreme. I have attached the Meka toy block tape in blue on one ceiling fan blade, and on the other ceiling fan blade, the As Seen on TV Build Bonanza. Let's add a few bricks to them and see if they can hold on. Okay then, here we go. It looks as if both brands of block tape have passed the test with the spinning colors. I'm surprised the monster cat lady didn't fly off as the minifigure's feet don't fit on the studs perfectly. Perhaps we should try something with more substantial build. Like Princess Bubblegum and the Ice King. Amazing! Princess Bubblegum held on! And for you longtime fans of the channel, I did not suffer a concussion when Ice King went flying near my head. Now for an important disclaimer. This ceiling fan is actually pretty old, and it's got some broken mechanics inside, and I plan on replacing it soon. So you better ask your parents and or guardian if you can do this. There's also something else that's going to extremely sway your parents or guardian decision on this matter. The adhesive has destroyed my ceiling fan, so yeah, do not stick this on wood that is not treated with some sort of uh, protectant, or you're going to peel uh, wood surfaces right up with this uh, tape. Probably limited to this fan because this board is particle board and such, so it'll peel right off, but normal hardwood and stuff, you should be okay. I'll be remembering this for a while. I'll probably just leave this tape up there. That looks, that looks so nice. We are now in a remote location at the Squirrel Stampede facilities. Uh, the mechanical room, rare to be seen. This is a hot water tank. And I thought this would be the perfect curved structure to see how the tape sticks to. So what we'll do is kind of get the dust off, rub the dust off. This looks like your made for TV tape still that off. That sticks pretty good. And this would be your your Meka tape. Still a little tricky to remove the adhesive. And we'll put that there. Ooh, that's a gas line. You don't want that thing wobbling. And okay, we've got the Ice King back. And we'll place him. Hmm. Because of its curved nature, you've now got studs kind of expanding, so it's much harder to place a solid heavy object. That's why I still have some minifigures here. We've got the monster Sasquatch with camera. He's standing okay. And we've got the monster plant man. 
He's not standing okay. Now he is. But there you go. A curved surfaces you can, but remember, again, the studs are bending and things, and so getting something to lock on is just a little harder. So that is the behind the scenes uh, mechanical area that you probably never thought you'd see. Hope this doesn't ruin the water tank. Oh, we're good. Whew. One last place I'd like to try out is the window. See how that works out with this kind of tape. So again, we have the red as seen for TV tape. Get a little bit of light projecting through the red. And we have the blue Mecha tape as well. Not so much light because it is thicker, remember. Now we'll place our Ice King figure. And he's holding on now that it's a flat surface. That curved surface didn't work very well. And he's holding on actually very strong. Oh dear, I've dropped one of his snowflakes. Anyway, and Princess Bubblegum here. She is also here to show the strength. Ooh, that's gotta hurt the noggin. For some reason, she just doesn't want to work at all today. I think it's just because she's got so much height and a lot of torque is bending her off. So not everything you construct is going to hold on this thin two stud tape. You might try getting the four stud tape if you really want to put up something heavy. It's a nice day. Okay, back to the table with the block tape. We saw a few different ideas to use. It really feels like small things, just a few bricks, a few minifigures, are gonna work okay. Larger, heavier stuff, you're going to want to use a lot more tape to hold things up there. It kind of feels like the softness of this brick tape interacting with a harder block plastic. There's kind of a little disagreement there. On one side, you can imagine the soft plastic studs embedding themselves well into the hard plastic and thus creating a strong bond. But sometimes it's just the opposite. The hard brick plastic just slides right off. And as we saw with the hot water tank, very difficult to use on curved surfaces. Overall, it's a pretty fun idea, but we have pretty weak paint in my house, and I have a feeling it would be peeling off paint all over the place. Like this tabletop works great, any normal countertop, I would say granite countertops would be fine, windows are fine, steel is fine. But again, if you see that really soft particle wood or paint that is very unglossy, it's probably going to come right off with this block tape for both brands. So be really careful with that, I don't want you to destroy your ceiling fan like I did mine. Remember, I'm replacing my fan, I'm not leaving that forever. Well, probably I am. As for the squirrel tail block tape, looks like we're out of time. That's too bad. I really would have liked to have shown this off maybe another time. I'm still trying to work out some of the layering on how this rolls up, but it really could revolutionize the industry of brick squirrel tail tape. Toy block tape from Meka or Build Bonanza is on store shelves 2017. Approximate retail $7 to $12 depending what you're finding. If you're looking for a new and ingenious method to displaying and playing with your bricks and blocks, these toy block tape strips can be very interesting. Just keep in mind, the larger you build, the more tape you'll need and the less likely it may stick. And also watch out for those surfaces. You don't want to destroy the family heirloom grandfather clock. In the meantime though, use it to capture that pesky headless horseman. That's what I have to say about that. Believe it or not, the Squirrel Stampede logo is held up by toy brick tape. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.